This is going to be your Team Star strategy guide. Let's get into it so you can easily defeat all these bad guys and move on with your story on the Starfell Street Path. Also, huge shout out to Lord Envy on helping me put these teams down for this video. Thank you, man. We're going to be going by order in this video. So the first one we're going to talk about is Team Star Giacomo. This is going to be part of the Dark Crew. This is the easiest one. You're going to fight one of his grunts early on. It's going to be easy to wipe him out at the start of the gate. After that, you're going to have to defeat 30 Team Star Pokemon as usual before the big boss fight. And it's going to be simple because it's dark. Your most effective typings to bring to these are Bug, Fighting, or Fairy type. So bring those three Pokemon, wipe all those grunts, and then you're going to get to the real battle with Giacomo. And Giacomo's going to have a level 21 Ponyard and a level 20 Starmobile. And Ponyard and Starmobile should easily be going down if you brought a Bug, Fighting, or Fairy Pokemon. Some Pokemon that you could use are Palmo, Low Kicks. You can grab a Mankey, Primate, and if you're really crazy, you can already be Annihilate, which is the third evolution. Uh, Paldea and Tauros is a great option. You'll find them everywhere in the game. Flamigo, everywhere at the start of the game. A Tinka Tink or a Tinka Tough. Those are great options as well as they are Steel Fairy types and they pack quite a punch against these Dark types. And you have Spidops, which is Tarantula's evolution at 15, making this a really simple battle. You'll probably wipe this even without Super Effective, but if you just want to know that information this is the right team to be using and after you beat them you'll be getting tm62 which is foul play you know what else is also very easy hitting that subscribe button so i can bring out more content like this thank you so much the next fight after this is the only one that was marketed by the pokemon company you're going to enter the team star mela fight now this is going to be the fire fight as everyone knows and the best Pokemon to bring to knock out all the Team Star Grunts are going to be pretty simple. You're going to be able to bring Water Pokemon, Ground Pokemon, or Rock types because those are going to be super effective against Fire types. Now, when you're getting into the battle with Mela, you have to keep in mind that her Torkoal has the ability Drought. Drought is going to lower the power of Water moves and increase the power of Fire type moves, which means that Torkoal is going to hit you really hard with that stab attack. So during that fight, maybe not use a water type, but rather use a ground or a rock type. Those would be really super effective against her. And those would help out taking down that Torkoal. Some Pokemon that you can use are Claude Sire, which is the evolution of Paldean Wooper. Knackle Stack, which is one of the most broken Pokemon in the game, especially with its attack called Salt Heal. We have Donphan, great one to use. Glimet, Azumarill, if you're feeling like you can do some damage there. Psyduck and Golduck are really great options if you're using water Pokemon because they have an ability called Cloud9, which does not let Torkoal get off that ability drought. So really big to keep that in mind. And you can also bring the water starter here to wipe Mela's Pokemon pretty quick. It's really up to you on how powerful your water Pokemon are in comparison to her Torkoal getting drought, but... Psyduck is a great option, or Golduck with Cloud9. The next Team Star fight we're going to talk about is the Atticus fight. This is going to be your Poison Team Star fight. What you're going to want to bring to these Grunt battles is pretty simple. You want to bring Ground or Psychic Pokemon. These two typings are going to completely demolish the crewmates, so keep that in mind when you're rushing through the 30 Pokemon at the start. Really good stuff. And after you defeat the Grunts, you're going to be fighting Atticus, and Atticus is going to carry a Skunk Tank at level 32. He's going to have a Rever Room at 33. He's going to also have a muck and he's going to have the star mobile as well so like i mentioned you want to bring ground or psychic pokemon to this and steel pokemon are going to be really unaffected by poison types so steel is a good immunity too so if you want to bring steel types bring them in for this fight suggested pokemon for this are going to be claude sire because it is a ground typing absolutely disgusting tinkaton if invested into relearns move summary and you can teach it gigaton hammer fantastic attack dawn fan glade can do really well here drum pig mudsdale or big brain play you can use toad scroll which comes with a ground type move at level 24 and you can relearn reflect the next team star fight is ortega which is part of the fairy crew but the pre-fight to this is a little bit harder than usual you fight this butler named harrington or professor whatever he is uh something he had to do something with his school he's gonna have a morgrim at level 48 and a hatterim at level 49 easy pokemon to take down with steel types after that you're gonna fight all the team star grunt pokemon should be pretty quick if you bring steel or poison type pokemon in here the team star fights are really just teaching you type matchups ortega's team once you beat all the grunts are gonna be azumarill at level 15 this is a water fairy type you're gonna have wigglytuff with a pure fairy type you're gonna have dash Vun, which is the dog fairy evolution of fido and you're gonna have the star mobile 
as the final fight. Like we mentioned, Steel and Poison are your best bets for this fight. So you want to bring great Pokemon like Tinkaton. Plodsire, again, shows up really good here. Golden Goo, if you are the coin finding wizard and happen to evolve your Gimme Ghoul. Reverum, great over here. Corviknight, having a Steel Bird is amazing. You could bring Amoongus, which is pretty sus. Magneton or Magnezone do a great job during this fight. They are Steel Electric type. You could bring Glamora, which is a Rock Poison type, or Graphite Eye if you're kind of crazy. <laughs> I made a big mistake and just wanted to steamroll this with my fire starter and I didn't realize that Fido's evolution dash bun gets powered up when you use fire attacks against it. So just keep that in mind. It's like baking bread and making it stronger. Once you're done, you'll receive TM79, which is Dazzling Gleam. Again, this Team Star boss is going to be ranging in the levels of 49 to 50. So make sure your Pokemon are well leveled before you fight this one. The final Team Star member that you're going to be fighting is Airy. This is part of the fighting crew, fighting Pokemon, all powerful punches. You're going to be taking out a grunt before you fight just Krogunks and primates and really effective pokemon to use against this are fairy psychic and flying you want to just be careful of that first fight at the gate before you get into it so be careful bringing a psychic pokemon with that Krogunk because Krogunk knows a lot of poison moves but otherwise it should be an easy fight if you do enter and defeat all the 30 pokemon should be a joke with your fairy psychic or flying types and then you're going to move on to airy fight now airy is going to contain toxic croak at level 55 a simian at level 55 Lucario at level 55, Annihilate at level 56, and you're going to be fighting the Starmobile at the end of all of this. Some great Pokemon that you want to bring to this fight. Think a ton. Great Pokemon again. And fairy types also do resist some fighting. Uh, we have Flamigo, another powerful fighting flying bird. Does a great job here. Uh, we have Bombardier. These birds come in handy. Kilowattro, great another flying type. Esparta, Gallade, or Gardevoir. You can use Veluza or Rabska and potentially sweep after doing a TM Trick Room on this entire fight. You have Azumarill with priority moves and is also a fairy type, so great matchup against these fighting types. You have Corviknight, which is a flying type as well. Flying destroys fighting. And then you have Dash Bun if you want to go a little crazy during this fight. After you defeat the Team Star fighting crew, you're going to get the TM-167, which is close combat. Remember, by defeating all the Team Star members, you're going to be awarded a lot of LP, but you're also going to be unlocking some extra TMs that are going to be showing up at the TM machine by the Pokemon healing centers and the Pokemart. So this is why you should do Team Star. Not as big as a priority as gyms or the Titan fights. If you enjoyed this strategy guide, you might also enjoy this video. So go check this one out. I promise you, you'll get something really cool from this video.